Question number one. Determine the type of roots for each of the following quadratic functions. Sketch the graph and make generalizations on the position of the graph on the axis. So to determine the type of roots, we're going to find the value of the discriminants for each of the functions. So let us find the value of a, b, c first. So for question a, the value of a is equal to negative 3. The b is a positive 6 and c is a negative 3. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Now here we're going to have 6 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times negative 3. The answer for this part is going to be 0. So when the value of a discriminant of a function is equal to 0, so from here we know that this function will have two equal real roots. Now let us sketch the graph on the x axis. So let's say this is the x axis. And because of the a is less than zero, so therefore the graph will look like this. The graph is going to touch the x axis at one point. And this point is the maximum point of the graph. Questions B. So here the value of A is 1, the B is positive 2, and C is negative 3. So let us find the value of each discriminant. So it's going to be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 3. So here the answer is 16. So which is greater than 0. So when the value of a discriminant is greater than 0, then the functions of B will have two different real roots. As the value of A for questions B is greater than 0, Therefore, when you sketch it on the x axis, the graph, which is in the shape of parabola, is going to intersect the x axis at two points. Question C. So the value of A is 4, the B is negative 8, and C is positive 5. So the value of its discriminants will be negative 8 squared minus 4 times 4 times 5. Solve this, you're going to have the answer of negative 16, which is less than 0. So when the discriminants, its value is less than 0, these functions will have no real roots. So when you sketch the graph on the x axis, so the a is greater than 0. The graph, which is in the shape of parabola, will not intersect the x axis. So the graph will be above the x axis. Question 2. Find the possible value of h if the graph of the following quadratic functions touch the x axis at only one point. So from this information, we know the value of the discriminants for these functions is equal to 0. So here for questions a, the value of a is equal to 1, the b is negative 2h, and c is equal to 2 plus h. So we know the value of its discriminants is equal to 0. So the b square here is going to be negative 2h square minus 4 times 1 times 2 plus h equal to 0. So here is 4, 4h square. So here negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. When you multiply by 2 is negative 8. 
So negative 4 times positive h is negative 4h equal to 0. So here I'm going to rearrange this. So 4h squared minus 4h minus add equal to 0. Next, I'm going to simplify all the terms here by dividing it with num 4. So next, I'm going to have h squared minus h minus 2 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic function. To find the value of h, we're going to do the factorization. So here, you're going to have h minus 2 h plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, h minus 2 equal to 0 or h plus 1 equal to 0. So finally, the h is equal to 2 or the h is equal to negative 1. For questions B, here the value of A is equal to 1. The value of B is negative bracket h plus 3 or if I expand it it's going to be negative h minus 3 and the value of c is equal to 3h plus 1 so the same is discriminant is equal to 0 so here we're going to have bracket negative h minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 and c is 3h plus 1 equal to 0. So this means you're going to have negative h minus 3. This bracket exists two times. So here you're going to have negative 4 times 3h, which is negative 12h. And negative 4 times positive 1, which is minus 4, equal to 0. So here we're going to do the expansions. So next you're going to have h square plus 3h plus 3h plus 9 minus 12h minus 4 equal to 0. So here we're going to solve for the likes term. So you're going to have h square. So 3h plus 3h, 6h minus 12h minus 6h. And 9 minus 4, which is a positive 5, equal to 0. So this is a quadratic function as well. So we're going to do the factorizations. So you're going to have h minus 5, and then the bracket is h minus 1, equal to 0. So h minus 5 equal to 0, or h minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, the h is equal to 5, or the h is equal to 1. Question number three, find the range of value of Q if the graph of the following quadratic function intersect the x-axis at two points. So from this information, we know that the value of the discriminants for this function is greater than zero. Now let's look at questions A. If you look at this part here, this is not the value of B. Because if you expand it, you're going to get qx squared. So for part A, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to expand for this part first. So you're going to get qx squared plus 4x minus 2. Then for this part, we're going to expand it again. Then you're going to get negative qx squared minus 4x minus 2. Now, for this x square, you have a common factor, therefore you can factorize this. 5 minus q x square minus 4x minus 2. Now, from here, you can get the value of a which is equal to 5 minus q. The b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to negative 2. The value of the discriminants for these functions is greater than 0. So now you can substitute the ABC into the discriminants. So you're going to have negative 4 squared minus 4 times 5 minus Q and the C is negative 2 greater than 0. 
So here you want to have a positive 16. So for this part, if you are getting confused, then you can do this expansion part first. So next you are going to get, here you're going to get negative 10. And when these two multiply together, you're going to get positive 2q greater than 0. Now you can do the expansions for this part. So here you want to have positive 40 minus at q greater than 0. So here is 56 minus at q greater than 0. So negative at q greater than negative 56. So q is less than negative 56 divided by negative 8. So q is less than positive 7. Now look at questions B. For this part, we are also going to do the expansion first to find the value of B. So for questions B, f of x equal to q plus 2x squared plus q minus 2qx minus 5. So I'm going to rearrange this first. Minus 2qx plus q minus 5. Now from here, the value of a is equal to q plus 2. The b is negative 2q. And c is q minus 5. The discriminants of this function is greater than 0. So now we can substitute the value of a, b, c into it. So negative 2q squared minus 4 times q plus 2 and another one is q minus 5 greater than 0. So for this part, you can do the expansion. So here you want to have a positive 4q squared minus 4. So here you want to have q squared. This will give you the negative 5q plus the 2q. So the answer is negative 3q and minus 10 greater than 0. Next, you can expand for this part. So 4q squared minus 4q squared plus 12q plus 40 greater than 0. So 4q squared minus 4q squared is equal to 0. So we can cancel it here. So 12q plus 40 greater than 0. So 12q is greater than negative 40. q is greater than negative 40 divided by 12. So after you simplify it, you're going to get negative 10 over 3. Question number 4. Find the range of value of r if the graph of the following quadratic functions do not intersect the x axis. So from this information, we know that the value of the discriminants of this function is less than 0. Question A. The f of x is equal to rx squared plus 4x minus 6. So from this functions here, the a is equal to r, the b is 4, and the c is equal to negative 6. So the discriminant is less than 0. So here you're going to have 4 squared minus 4 times r times negative 6 less than 0. So here you want to have 16. So here negative 4r when you multiply it. When you multiply it with negative 6 is going to be plus 24r less than 0. So we're going to move the 16 to the right hand side. It will be negative 16. R is less than negative 16 divided by 24. So after simplifying this, you're going to get R is less than negative 2 over 3. Now let's move to questions B. So from these functions here, 
the A is equal to R, the B is 2R plus 4, and the C is R plus 7. So the discriminants of these functions is also less than 0. So here the B is 2R plus 4 square minus 4 times R times R plus 7 less than 0. So here it means this bracket 2R plus 4 exists 2 times. So here you're going to have negative 4R. When you multiply it with the R here, you're going to get negative 4R square. So when negative 4R multiply with this positive 7, you're going to get negative 28R less than 0. So for this part, we're going to do the expansions. So you're going to get 4R square plus 8R plus 8R plus 16 minus 4R square minus 28R less than 0. Now, you have a positive 4R here minus with this 4R square. It will be 0. So we can cancel for these two. So here, we're going to solve for the likes term. At R plus at R, which is 16, when you multiply minus with this 28 R, you're going to get negative 12 R. Plus, this 16 is less than 0. So next, we're going to move this 16 to the right hand side, it will be minus 16. So R is greater than negative 16 divided by negative 2. So when you divide the inequalities with a negative number, the, the inequality signs will be reversed. So after simplify this, the R is greater than 4 over 3.